All right, let's do this. Um, so again, I'm so excited that you're here. My name is Allison Van Horn, and I have been oily, so to speak, for five years now. I can't believe it. Um, I was a previous skeptic, like I thought my friend was crazy when she started talking about these oils and getting me into a Facebook group. Um, I didn't always love medicine, but I also wasn't up for doing oils either. Um, but I turned to the oils when I had, um, I had just moved to Hawaii. My husband is military and I had a 15 month old and a baby on the way and the baby was born and my husband was deployed and I just became this like solo mom with two kids under two, no job because I wasn't working yet and I'm a physical therapist by trade. Um, and so I just was kind of lost and I was getting very, very cranky and angry and sad and all the post heart hormone feelings that you feel um, with my newborn who just wouldn't sleep. I love my Jacob, but he just didn't sleep at night. So um, my friend, Ashley Diet, I don't know if some of you might know her. Uh, she is an amazing person, but she kept sharing about these oils and she just kept checking in on me and I kept saying, not now. And then one day I said, now. Um, so I got my kit and it was kind of silly. I got it in the mail and I tried Stress Away, which um, is one of my favorite oils and it comes in this uh, premium starter kit, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. And it was a game changer for me. It calmed my emotions, it calmed my stress, it increased my patience. I was like a whole new being. And from that point on, I've just done a little bit new each like month with the Essential Rewards program. I changed out my products. Um, I changed out, I used the oils for diffusing. Um, we got rid of a lot of our household products and my skin is better, our health is better. I work in healthcare and my kids go to daycare and we, we rarely bring anything home. We used to, we don't anymore. And I truly, truly attribute it to these magical um, oils. So that's a little bit of my, my story. We're all gonna share a story. So we all have different ones. That's the best part of these oils. Um, but I did want to kind of state, um, we are going to talk mostly about the premium starter kit for a couple reasons. One, that is like the best place to start. It has the best bang for your buck. So if you're new to the oily world, or maybe you're just getting a refresher on your kit, it doesn't matter. I love starting here because you get a diffuser, which is like a dream come true for nighttime. Or, um, if you burn something in the kitchen, like you're a bad cooker, that's me. Um, <laughs> you want that diffuser. So this is a perfect place to get started. Plus I do love that for um, only $165, you get 12 oils that literally do everything for you. So a little bit, um, you'll see like kind of how they have different roles. Um, so we're gonna chat about our favorites. So we're gonna go through. So we're not, we might not highlight them all, but they're all great, but there are some truly, truly phenomenal ones that I know I use daily. So that's why we're gonna to speak to the premium starter kit. So it is this box um, and a diffuser and everything. And we're just gonna chat about some things. Um, all right, so I love Raven. I love Raven so much, guys, that it's not even in here. That's where Raven's supposed to be. That's what I was gonna show you. Um, but Raven is a great oil for respiratory support, which is amazing during um, seasonal changes. Um, I have two kids that have kind of the summer sniffles upstairs, so I have it running in their diffusers for um, happy noses for nighttime. Um, I love it. It's very fresh. It has eucalyptus in it. It is very beneficial for a chest rub. Um, think of it, you know, like those over-the-counter things that you would get. You can easily make it at home with coconut oil. Another one why I love the premium starter kit, because you don't have to take late night journeys to the store. Like where my mom is at, it's obnoxious. So I love having that starter kit right there for us. Um, so I love Raven for all things breathing. You can rub it on your chest. You can put it in the diffuser. You can pair with lemon if it's a little bit too strong for you. Um, and it's perfection. I do also love pairing it with the other oil that I'm gonna talk about. Um, it's called, see I have that one, Citrus Fresh Vitality. And as you can see, I don't know if someone else is going to speak to this, but because I'm talking about Citrus Fresh, I feel like I should share. Um, see how one is white label and one is not white label? Um, I just saw my niece in the background and I got sidetracked. <laughs> 
sorry. Um, so Citrus Fresh is, and my brother. All right, so Citrus Fresh is a great oil. Um, it is beneficial for all things cleansing. It's very refreshing in water. We personally love it with cooking and I'm talking very much about what we do like ingesting wise because that's what the white label means. So the white label, all that means is according to FDA regulations, and we all want to be according to FDA regulations because we love our oils, right? It just has to have a different label to ingest. However, I will be the first one, and many will say, um, that it is made the same. Like I have been to the farms. Tracy's going to talk more about the farms in a little bit, but it is made the exact same. It's the exact same oil that would be in a non-white label of Citrus Fresh. It's just labeled differently for FDA purposes so we get to ingest. We're um, the only essential oils company that does that, and I, see, I feel like that speaks volumes to our amazingness. So that's why for Citrus Fresh Vitality, which comes in the kit, um, it's great for in my water. I love it in our orange, orange juice. I love it in our Ninja Red, which is our wellness drink that we drink pretty substantially in our house, um, just to kind of give it a bigger bang for our buck. And then we do love it on our fish and chicken. And because I don't want to take up much more time, I'm going to pass the baton to our next friend to start speaking. All righty. Thank you. Okay, that's me. Um, hi, I'm Anne, and um, I have been using oils since about 2015. Um, and my story starts with um, I was diagnosed in 2015 with just a, a health problem, and it really kind of elevated all of my anxiety and my worries. And um, they were suggesting that I take, you know, some drugs to kind of help with that. And I really um, have always liked to have alternatives in my health and wellness. So um, I was working with Michelle Clark at the time. I wonderful coworker, and she said, you know, you might want to really think about essential oils. Um, they've really helped me um, emotionally and in so many different ways, and so I was like totally open to that, and the first oil that she gave me was Stress Away, and just like Allison, it was, it was really a game changer. I actually kind of went through a detox first. I told Michelle, I was like, why am I getting this headache? Um, so it was actually because I had, I think, so many toxins in my body. So um, just as a little side note, sometimes you have to kind of get rid of everything in order for your body to accept that. Um, but once um, I tried that and used it, I used it throughout. I've, I did have to have, you know, several surgeries and um, some medical things, but I was luckily not able to have to take those drugs and have to go through that. Um, and then once I got my starter kit, I um, learned, it, it just really opened my eyes to how much I was putting in and on my body. I loved candles. I loved anything with a scent in it. I was in Bed Bath & Beyond um, and, uh, you know, everything that had a scent. So it was hard for me at first to kind of slowly change that, but I realized all the health benefits once I, once I did that. Um, so now I don't really look back. I've you know, slowly changed um, things out as far as my cleaners and the chemicals I was using, my makeup, you know, all through those things. Um, and then along the way, I've really, you know, been proactive about my health, more of like thinking before instead of reacting. It's, it's more about what can I do to kind of help um, me stay above the wellness line. And in the process, I've loved sharing and I've had to, um, and have gained a ton of friends and wonderful people along the way. And that's been really fantastic as well. So I'm going to um, actually just explain what an essential oil is. So essential oils are the most powerful, powerful part of the plant. It's the lifeblood of the plant. Um, they're distilled from shrubs, flowers, trees, roots, bushes, fruits, rinds, resins, and herbs. Um, and it's, job is really to heal the plant and restore it and protect it. So for example, like if a tree branch is, or a branch is cut off from a tree, the sap and the oil actually protect it and restore it. So essentially that's what it's doing in our body. Um, oils can still of over like 100 natural organic compounds. Um, for us, 
it, it supports every system in our body. So our skeletal system, our muscular system, our circulatory system, our endocrine system, and our hormones. Um, and like Allison said, our respiratory system and our immune system, for sure. They support our brain health and healthy weight, and they are used um, especially for, for spiritual support. I mean, they've been in the Bible, they were in the Bible mentioned about 1,100 times. Um, and of course, we're given, frankincense and more was, were given to Jesus at his birth. So um, we know that story as well. Um, so oils just really, you know, can affect us in, in so many ways. Um, and okay, so there's about 300 oils on the earth. And all we need is really those 10 to 20 that we talked about that you get in your starter kit. Um, to really just kind of build a good foundation. So I'm going to talk about two of my favorite, and um, I pick Stressway. Um, of course, that's my favorite one, and it comes in the kit, and it's actually in the bottom of the kit, so you have to make sure that you open that <laughs> second half of the kit, um, and it actually is a really good one. It, um, you'll see a roller filament too, and that's a good one to pop on for Stressway. Um, and roll on your wrist or the back of your neck. If you have a bottle, you can just pop off the top and then put the filament on there. And then it comes with a different cover. And then you can just use it like that. Another way that I like, I don't know if, if many people know about these, are like nasal inhalers. So um, you put a few drops in this part right here put it in there and then pop on the back. And then you can just use it during the day and take a little whiff of it. And that's really relaxing as well. And you can put any combination in there. I, I use it, um, I put the combination for seasonal support in there for my kids and we each have a little nasal inhaler. So that's another really good way to use your oils. Um, and then I often wear Stress Away on my diffuser um, necklace and bracelet. Um, and yeah, behind my neck. So that's, yeah, all really good ways. The other one is peace and calming. So it's kind of exactly what it says. Oh, before, before I go on, I wanted to make sure that I, knew, I told you that stress away is a blend. So it is a combination of oils. So it has lime and vanilla. Um, it has cobaiba, lavender, cedarwood, and ocotea. And so that combination is what makes stress away. And then this other one, Peace and Calming, is also a blend. And um, this is exactly what it says. It, it does allow you to really feel just that peacefulness. Um, I like to diffuse it at the end of the day or just if, you know, my kids are going crazy. Um, it kind of calms everything down in the house. Um, it has ylang, ylang orange, tangerine, patchouli, and blue tansy. Um, and there's actually two roller filaments in your kit, so that's another one um, to put on that one. Um, so it's just really good for just chilling out. And so those are my my two favorites. Uh, and I think that's it. And I'm gonna pass it on to I'm not sure. That would be up me. next. All right. I'm next. Yep. So my name's Tracy, and we are so glad that you guys are here with us tonight and taking the time. Um, just to learn a little bit more and learn something new. Um, and I'd love to hear what you're interested in learning and type it in the comments and, and we can help answer questions and all that good stuff. Um, and I want to give you a little background on how I got started. I grew up in California and definitely a, a more holistic type background. Um, and then we moved to Virginia towards the end of my high school years and um, we kind of got away from it. Virginia wasn't really the same as California as far as forward thinking. So we kind of got away from that. And then I became a nurse and the medical field back then, especially definitely wasn't open to any of the alternative help. Um, and luckily it's slowly changing. Some areas are faster than others. So I'm very happy to see that. Um, and I've sought various alternative modalities throughout my ad adult life for myself and my family. And I was even introduced to essential oils and young living actually during my uh, youngest daughter's um, had a pretty significant illness. 
and two different doctors actually introduced us to it and, and used that in her treatment and care, which was phenomenal. Um, and one was a chiropractor and one was an actual physician, an MD, um, and it really helped with her recovery. But I was never told I become a member or how to get more. I just thought, okay, well, that was it. So I let it go. And then back in 2015, I was reintroduced to Young Living because of my son, Ryan, who has multiple disabilities and medical complications. Um, and we wanted to address some of his, um, some acute health concerns that we were dealing with. And we have not looked back since. So luckily they told me I could, how, to, how to do this and get started and it has changed our life. Um, and it not only helped him, but it helped our entire family. At the first thought it was gonna be just for Ryan, not really knowing, and it just took over. So like my girls used it, we all used it for skin, um, for stress, for gut and tummy issues, um, for our brains and my son's brain especially, for focusing, which is good for all of us. And actually before I started, because I was a little sleepy and um, not focusing, I grabbed my Kids Scent Genius. Yes, this is for kids, but it's good for adults too. And rubbed that on my temples to help me focus more. Um, it's helped us with sleep and the seasonal changes here in Virginia, which are challenging and can kick everybody's butt. Um, and just kind of breathing easier. And then I started learning, um, kind of like Anne, about like these the toxic chemicals that we were using. I had no idea because I am definitely a self-proclaimed um, scentaholic. Everything I had had to quote unquote smell good. Now I can't stand it and it gives me a headache. Um, but my laundry detergent, dryer sheets, candles, I had all the scented candles. I had like the big expensive perfumes, all of that. And I was just blown away once I started learning what they can actually do to your body short term and long term. Um, <clears throat> And I also have a connective tissue disorder and it's really helped support me in this as well. Um, so it's just been, I, I could go on and on, but I won't keep you here all night. Um, and, and now we are all seeing the docs for well, or the doctors for well checks and even my son Ryan, which is huge because we were in the doctor's office or in, in, in the hospital for hospital stays quite frequently. Um, and like we were talking about these, these ingredients that we didn't realize uh, were harming us as well as our pets because they also, all these scents and chemicals really can affect our pets too. You don't think about that, but it absorbs in their paws and fur. Um, babies when they're crawling and licking the floor and all of us walking barefoot, inhaling. Um, and so I really started learning and digging into it and just started, you know, little by little switching out things for safe non-toxic items. Um, and once we did that, I noticed like our headaches were starting to clear up, our respiratory and the kids' asthma started like getting way better. Um, this, we had like these nagging coughs, that kind of stuff started getting better. I had no idea. So um, knowledge is power, that is for sure. Um, and before I real, when I started seeing all these changes, I was, um, I couldn't help but tell people about it. So I'm like, oh my, this is, this is helping us in this way. And um, but as a nurse, I really, really wanted to be careful and mindful what I was <clears throat> telling people. I didn't want it to harm them. So I started doing a lot of research first, and um, there's a lot of stuff on the internet, so much good and bad, um, and, and you really have to dig deep because you can find something good and something bad about anything because people put all kinds of stuff out there. But Young Living, um, is the only company in the world that offers what we call seed to seal guarantee. And that means each plant is hand weeded. There's no pesticides or chemicals used, no weed killers. Everything is weeded by hand. Um, they make only therapeutic grade oils and it's basically the cream of the crop. Whereas other essential oils that are out there, um, might be, um, are, are usually less of an oil or, or sometimes they're not even an oil. Um, they're definitely, I would never recommend any um, other oil besides Young Living to my family or friends. I'd rather you not use essential oils than <clears throat> to use an oil that you can find um, at Target and the dollar store or even some of the more expensive ones, to be honest with you. We are the oldest and most trusted company in the world. 
Um, we have 25 plus years experience. Our founder, Gary Young, is phenomenal. He went and did all kinds of research and created all this um, basically better ways to distill and safer and how to actually preserve the chemical constituents in the plants, uh, making these oils actually therapeutic grade. Um, anybody also can walk. Um, well, first let me tell you, so all oils, they are not regulated by the FDA. I almost forgot to tell you that. So it's really important to know the practices of your company. Um, and so going into that, I love the transparency of Young Living because anybody can walk on the farms. You can go to the farms, you can help plant, you can help weed, you can talk to the farmers, you can um, talk to the people in the lab. Um, several of us have been to the farms. Um, some of us have been to winter harvest and where you can go and you can actually help cut trees down and put them in the cookers and make your own oils. And it's so transparent. It's no, there's no other company in the world that does this. So um, I love that we can go and see these farms all over the world. And you can learn more about that. Um, and we'll put that in the comments, but Young Living Seed to Seal process at seedtoseal.com. Um, it's phenomenal. And one of the many reasons I would only ever recommend Young Living. All right, so as you can tell, I may or may not love Young Living, right? I'm gonna get into two oils that I, and that I really love. Um, I'll start with peppermint. So in your kit, you have peppermint vitality, um, which Allison was talking about before, and it also comes in this bigger bottle as well. So <clears throat> when you're talking about vitality, of course, you're talking about stuff that's safe to ingest. So with this one, um, I use this, in our tea, you can make um, a thieves, I mean, a, a hot tea or hot cocoa or in my water bottle. So I love to put it in my water, especially before workouts or during workouts, because it really helps rev up and give me energy. Um, I will put a drop under my tongue. It's hot for some people, but drop under my tongue after I've had some coffee so I don't have that dragon breath. Um, so I don't use breath mints anymore. I just use my peppermint vitality. It goes everywhere with me. But it also helps to soothe your stomach. So a drop is equal to 26 cups of peppermint tea. So it's very powerful. It smells amazing. It does not smell like the traditional peppermint that you smell at Bed Bath & Beyond because it doesn't smell sweet. It's pure peppermint plant. That's all it is. They don't add anything else to their oils. Um, I also will use, if I'm talking about other peppermint, <clears throat> I will, is same oil, but I will put it on my head for head tension or tense muscles or after I've had a hard workout, it's very good for that. Um, but I also will help, I'll put it on my sinuses to kind of open things up and help wake me up, which is really comes in handy when I'm um, driving and get tired. Um, or if you wanna make like a cooling spray or just put some peppermint diluted on the back of your neck or your chest, it's great pre and post workout, or if you wake up in the middle of the night and feeling a little hot, that kind of thing, take it to the beach with you. It's a, it's a great all around oil. It's in my purse and goes with me everywhere. The next one I'm gonna talk about is Thieves. So Young Living is known for Thieves. It's a very powerful combination. It's got clove, lemon, cinnamon, eucalyptus, radiata, um, and rosemary. So these oils are extremely good for um, keeping your immune system strong and healthy. And it was the name thieves came from um, the legend um, back in the 15th century when the um, plague was going around. There was a group of robbers that were stealing from the dead and dying and they were not getting sick. So they apparently were spice traders and they ingested and put these oils on their body um, and or the spices on their body and they were able to stay, health, stay healthy. So that's why this is named Thieves. Um, this oil is everything. You want to have this in your life. Um, you can make, so this is the Vitality again. So I'm gonna talk about both, but for now we can, I'd like to um, put it in, make a Thieves tea. You can do Thieves and hot water and lemon Vitality and some raw honey. It's very soothing. Um, I like to put two drops of these Vitality under my tongue every morning, and my husband puts it in his tea in the morning. So however you wanna use it, um, you can also, um, if I'm talking about this oil, same oil, um, you can diffuse it with 
um, lemon or orange. It smells really good and it helps to clean and purify the air. Um, it's also great as an immune boosting roller. You can put some thieves and lemon and frank, which are all in your kit. Um, and you can make, <clears throat> make rollers to roll on your spine or your feet and really help support you throughout the year. Um, and that is about it. I'd love to how how you use these oils, um, or once you get the kit, how you'd like to use them. So I'm going to pass the baton on to Tanya so she can share on the ways how to use the oils. All right. Um, well, my story with oils actually began in 2016, but that was two years before I even started using oils. Um, in 2016, I had a very high stress job. I was an HR manager um, for an organization that was reorganizing. Um, I had a lot going on at home, and I was being diagnosed with medical, several medical conditions. I even left work in an ambulance one time, so life was not happy in 2016. I ended up leaving my job, and um, one of my friends had been seeing a naturopath and had great success with their healthcare goals. So I decided I wanted to, to give that a try. Um, so um, my kids used to comment on, you know, mom, you're taking a handful of meds, you know, are you a drug addict kind of a thing? And, and it really just made me more aware of what was going on. Um, and so the naturopath, the first thing that we did was we changed my diet and we changed it dramatically. I mean, Sugar-free, gluten-free, and dairy-free. And that helped in a lot of ways, um, but I kept feeling like there was, there was still something missing. And in 2017, my naturopath started adding essential oils to his practice. And about that time, one of my friends enrolled in Young Living, and so I kind of stalked her posts for about a year um, and saw all that it was doing for her family and thought, well, maybe this is what I'm missing. Um, so in 2018, I decided to add the oils and in the last two years, I've been able to get off of all of my prescription meds, all of the medical conditions that I have are no longer an issue. And it's not just because of the oils, it's a whole combination of things, but this was really like for me, the last step that made it me able to reach my goals. Um, one of the, the ways that you can use the oils is internally, as um, we've been talking about um, with the, the two different labels, um, with the white label for um, the Vitality oils that you can ingest and the solid color for the same oil um, that you can use other ways. Um, if you're familiar with other oils, you may have been cautioned not to take them internally, but Young Living, um, really subscribes to all different ways you can use your oils. And the French have been using oils internally for decades. And um, one of the things that you need to be aware of when you're looking at what oils can you take internally is um, you know, how are they cultivated? And Young Living is so purposeful in how we do everything with the seed to seal, from the seeds we plant to how we grow them, the way we, we um, bring in the crops, and how we distill them, um, that you can feel comfortable and safe taking the oils internally. Um, one of the ways that you can do it internally is you can either, um, Young Living sells these, but you can get them at health food stores too. You can get some empty veggie caps and you can add drops to the veggie caps. You can put the oils under your tongue. Um, you can put them in um, your drinks. You can cook with them, um, all sorts of different things. One of the books that I found really helpful um, as I've been on my oils journey is a book by Jenna Sullivan. It's called French Aromatherapy. And this book has all sorts of recipes from how to cook with them, um, different rollers you can use, um, all sorts of things. So it's a wonderful book that, that tells you and educates you in an easy to understand way about the internal use for the oils. Uh, the first oil that um, others in my household really noticed um, that these weren't just, you know, um, medicine, you know, traveling medicine show oils, but effective oils, was Digiz. Um, and again, that one comes in both labels. And Digiz is a combination, it's a blend of ginger, peppermint, fennel, and anise. And 
this is one that my husband and my son um, were like, okay, maybe we'll try these. And it has a very strong fragrance. So you either love it or you hate the fragrance, but it's an oil that works. And um, what it's great for, digest, digestion. And um, so those times I have two teenage children and you know we have pizza and ice cream and having been on that sugar-free, gluten-free, dairy-free diet, when I go off of it, sometimes I don't feel so good. And Digize is wonderful. You can either roll it on your, um, your tummy or you can put a couple drops underneath your tongue. It works really well either way. And like I said, this was one of the oils that if you have men who are like, oh, I don't care about how good it smells, but they want something that actually works and wants to buy in with your oil journey with you, Digias is one that I recommend that you present to them to try. Um, the other oil that was a big hit for me, it took me a little longer to, to learn how to use, but it is amazing all it can do, and that is frankincense. Um, frankincense is great topically. Um, use it for, for skin, everything skin related. Um, wrinkles, owies, blemishes, bug bites, it is wonderful. Um, I mix it in my facial serum. I'm in my 50s and so um, having oils that I can add to other things that helps me not look like I'm in my 50s or less like I'm in my 50s is a, a bonus. Um, frankincense has a real grounding fragrance um, and it's often, you know, it's a biblical oil so it's often um, thought of being used for prayer and meditation. Um, real frankincense, and this is one of the ways that Young Living really distinguishes itself. While it's more expensive, you need to understand why. And frankincense is very labor intensive to produce. Um, it's, you tap the frankincense trees, just like you do um, maple syrup, and then um, it turns into, a, the, the frankincense turns into a hard resin, and you have to process the resin. And a lot of other companies will go ahead and use solvents because it makes it quicker, makes it less expensive. But we don't. We go through a really long, um, laborious process to have pure frankincense. And you can tell because it works. When you use that oil, when you put it on your skin, um, it works. So, um, Frankincense is also one of the oils that's in the Brain Power blend, um, which I like to use when I am having trouble focusing. Um, and it's just, it has a, I use it at night. Um, sometimes I'll mix it with Valor or with Peace and Calming as another oil that really helps calm you and gives you that grounding, clears your brain so that you can go to sleep. So with that, I think I need to pass this on to Kirsten. Hi, I'm Kirsten, and um, I started using oils probably four or five years ago, and I really got started just because I wanted a more, was pursuing, pursuing a more natural lifestyle, um, especially um, when I was younger, my dad had passed away from cancer, so that kind of has always just stuck with me of what um, things that I could try to do differently to um, not that, let that be the same path for myself. Um, so, um, that was a big player for me. And also when I was using more clean products that you would get at your grocery store, I would be cleaning my house and my hands would still be burning. And I didn't understand why my hands were burning or my I was getting head tension from cleaning my house with these clean products that they were claiming to be. So when I did switch, and um, I know someone will talk about Thieves Cleaner later, but my hands were no longer burning when I started using that and my head was no longer hurting after cleaning a bathroom. So that made a big difference for me. And um, I also had a lot of head tension and um, as someone, mentioned before, peppermint really helped me with that. So that that's kind of what sold the deal for me. And then it just became a way of life for us. That's what we use. That's what my kids know. Um, that's what they ask for when they get boo-boos and they get hurt. So um, actually, um, I'm going to talk about topical use. Um, so you can use them 
neat, which just means directly onto your skin, or you can dilute them with a carrier oil. Um, diluting them with a the carrier oil can make your oils last a little bit longer. It can spread them over a larger part of your body. And when we're saying carrier oil, we mean um, fatty oils. So like your coconut oil or your grapeseed oil, or, or um, in a pinch, I've even used our avocado oil that's or olive oil that's there if you just need it quickly to get it on. Um, so one thing with oils, sometimes like thieves, it might be a slightly irritating to one person's skin, but not another. So if you find that it's slightly irritating to the skin, you will use the carrier oil, so your coconut oil, and wipe that off if you find that it's discomforting to you. Um, but I, I personally have not had that issue, but everyone's skin is different. That's why oils are so amazing because everyone's body is different and you can use what you need for your body. So um, if you notice that it's hot, you can also dilute it down so it's not so hot on your skin the next time. So you might start with um, a bottle and fill it up and do one or two drops and test it on an area of your skin. Um, before applying it into a bigger area. Um, so uh, if you're doing DIYs, they're also great carrier oils and um, you can do a quick search. The different carrier oils are better for different things as far as putting it on your face or applying on different area of your body, especially if you notice you might have a more oily skin or more dry skin of the oil you put on your face as far as carrier oil can make a difference. So um, I want to talk to you about two of my favorite oils. Um, I will start with lavender, which is known as, I always go back to my big fat Greek wedding where it's like the Windex of <laughs> oils. You use it for anything. When in doubt, this is the one that we grab. So again, I have little ones, we get boo-boos. Lavender is the one that we grab. Um, after giving birth to our second child, um, I suddenly had really bad anxiety. He had some medical things going on as soon as he came out. I was, my hormones were s switching. I remember sitting in the hospital, like having to have the fan just blowing on me because I felt so hot and just my body, the hormones were just crazy. And I didn't know what was going on with my body. And I can remember just sitting in the hospital and just sniffing the lavender bottle just to calm myself down. I just needed something that was comforting to me that felt like home to calm me down. And that, um, and I, I now carry this one in our diaper bag. It goes with me everywhere because I need it to calm me. I might need it for a boo-boo. I don't know what I'm going to need it for, but I have it. <laughs> it goes with me everywhere. So um, some other great things for sleep. If you have little ones sleeping, this is a great one. Emotional support. You can put it on bath salts and drop them into your bath for relaxation. Facial serums. Um, pillow spray, anything that you need to unwind. This, just, this is it. If you, this will be your favorite one probably out of that box because you can use it for everything. <laughs> um, the other one I love is Valor. Um, again, I told you a little bit about my story with my little guy. Um, once I gave birth to him, this became my liquid courage bottle that again, I took it with me everywhere. Um, I put it right on the crown of my forehead. I will put it on my wrist and I will smell it. Um, but anytime I feel that racing feeling starting to begin, I reach for this one. It's something that just, it helps me. And I know the, that it's there. This one again stays in the diaper bag. I just reach for it and put it on in a few minutes. I've already calmed myself down. Um, so it's important to me that these are there. So this one is a blend and it has spruce, geranium, blue tansy, and frankincense. So when you drop it out, you actually notice it has a blue color, which was pretty cool. Um, so it's one of the most popular blends and again, courage in a bottle. So uh, I, also it helps for snoring. I, that was new to me, but if you have a snorer in your family, 
big toe, valor, and you'll lavender yourself up and you'll have a peaceful night's rest for everyone. <laughs> so those are my two favorite oils. Um, and I'm gonna pass it on to Shanna. Hey everyone, my name is Shauna. Um, so I got started with oils in 2017. My friend Michelle and I would sit on the bleachers at our girls gymnastics and we would be there for hours. And I would just see her apply oils to herself or her daughter would come out and need something and she'd say, you know, we get the oil or whatnot. So we would talk about it. It took probably about probably about two years for me to actually attend a class. Um, and it wasn't because I didn't think that they worked or anything like that. I was interested. It's just busy life and I just never made it to a class. And finally, the night that I did make it to the class, I signed up with her, actually probably halfway through the class, and I pulled out my phone and was sitting there signing up with her and everything. Um, so, and I've been using them ever since. I did not know, like many others, all the toxins that were in my house that I was using. Um, as one, I love the, the Windex multi that I use that on everything. I love my dryer sheets. I wanted my clothes to smell good. I love, you know, all my candles and everything. I just did not understand all the toxins that were in them. Um, and once, so the oils to me have been more about removing toxins in my house than anything. And that's been a lot, game changer for me. Um, Michelle would, you know, I had muscle, musculoskeletal issues. Matter of fact, I had had a fusion in my lower back. Um, and so when we were sitting out on the bleachers and stuff, she would, you know, give me something to use or tell me what her husband was using. Um, we had a lot of some of those same issues. And it just, it helped a ton. Um, but I want to talk about aromatically how to use them. Um, when you get your kit, you get a beautiful diffuser to use them with. And since it's one of the most powerful and, and the fastest way to reach the mood center is through our noses. In less than a second, essential oils hit the limbic system, which is where our emotions are housed, and they have the power to affect our mood. So if you can think back to like a rainstorm or baking cookies with grandma, when you smell those smells that in your childhood, as an adult, it takes you right back to your childhood. It takes you back to those good memories, not bad memories. But smells are what we think would actually take us to those memories. And most American homes have some kind of synthetic air freshener, be it the plug-ins, aerosol spray, um, most of them are candles. They all contain chemicals, um, namely formaldehyde, which is a, um, class one carcinogen, and they have been linked to cancer and other health issues. Um, I know I could not, I was one that could not walk into Bed Bath & Beyond, could not walk into Yankee Candle, um, stores like that, because all those scents, I said, I always said it was all the scents together gave me a headache. Individually, I, was, I felt like I was okay with them, but I couldn't walk into those stores because I would get such a headache. Um, so, um, the oils, I haven't had that issue with. And there are all kinds of oils out there that you can get those same scents from without using the candle. Um, you can use your oil in a diffuser, or you can put it in a spray bottle with water and, and witch hazel to replace that synthetic air freshener. And it also saves, it's gonna save you a ton of money and just help you kick all those chemicals to the curb. Um, and some of the benefits of diffusing is it's non-toxic, food enhancing, it purifies the air. Um, we had a, a bad dust storm come through the other day. Um, and so we had all the diffusers in the house going and we tried to just stay inside. It can help with sleep and it allows you to create your own scents to affect the entire room. And you don't have to go through an entire candle to switch out your scent. Once the diffuser is empty, you get to put a new, new scent in. So um, I, I really like it. And I'm going to talk about some of my favorites or the ones I can't really say I have any favorites because I love them all. Um, but some of the ones that got me hooked, the first one is Hannaway. And this is one that 
is considered a hot oil, so you will probably want to use it with a carrier oil. Um, but it's a blend, and it has wintergreen, helichrysum, clove, and peppermint. And it just is really good for the tired muscles and joints, as well as head tension. It's soothing if you're someone who stands or sits all day. It, um, my daughter likes it after her exercise. Um, she does now swimming because the natural is too, too much on her. But like I said, you do want to do it with a carrier oil. I also like can away to finish my night out. I'll, I'll take a nice warm bath. I'll put some in Epsom salt and just soak in my can away. The other oil that in the class that I went to, they had a little cotton ball for a, on a um, close, close in that you can put in your car vents and they said pick an oil and put it on there. Well, my favorite oil that night was a lemon and it comes in Vitality and the regular. Um, it's just a very uplifting oil for me. It can serve as a gentle detox to the body when taken internally in water. My daughter loves putting it in, in her water, actually both my daughters. Um, the citrus oils are cold pressed from the rind. You don't have to worry about any of the acidity that um, is in the pulp. And, but when you do, if you do drink it out of, um, or put it in your water, make sure you're using a stainless steel or glass as they digest um, petrochemicals and make it eat through plastic. They're completely safe, like they said, um, earlier to ingest and flush out what's not supposed to be there. The other thing that I absolutely love lemon for is it's a great juice on. So if you have something that is sticky or grease builds up in your kitchen, like in some place that you don't clean regularly, um, put a couple drops of lemon on it and it wipes it right off. And it smells so good when you're doing it. So those are some of my favorite ones. I'm going to pass it off. I think Stella's next, but I just want to thank y'all all for coming. Thanks, Shauna. Hey, everybody. So, um, yeah, I've been using these oils, I guess, for the past five and a half years now. And um, I had actually been searching and doing my research online because I was looking for some more natural alternatives to use in our lives at the time because I was having some health issues. Um, my allergies and my asthma were out of control. Um, I thought they were horrible when I lived in Louisiana, thinking that's like the worst place ever for those things. And then we moved to Virginia. And boy, was I wrong. <laughs> so never in my life before had I had asthma symptoms, um, which was crazy. So I just, you know, and I was, Everything that was being done for me on the medical side of things, um, which was the first route I had gone with it, was not working and was actually um, making things worse for me. So weird. So, you know, I was like, why not? It can't hurt to try something else. So I started looking into um, more natural means and the oils came into play. And um, just like Tracy and everybody else has touched on, the seed to seal with Young Living is what made me choose Young Living essential oils. And they're the only ones that I trust with my family, with my kids, with um, my pets. So love them, love them. And um, it was kind of funny because, you know, if you knew me at the time, like I was always sick with those issues. My girls were always sick. I mean, like they caught like strep and ear infections, like they were going out of style. Um, so I was either out of work with them or for myself. Um, and it was just, it was crazy. Then we get the oils and we start diffusing. And again, I had, to, had no clue at the time that it would take us down a whole wellness journey of ditching toxins in our house, but it has like opened my eyes to so much. And honestly, my biggest recommendation for everybody is if you have candles in your home, if you have air fresheners in your home, if you have plugins in your home, throw them out. Um, that was huge for me. Just ditching those out of my house improved a lot of my respiratory symptoms that I was having probably by 90%, not even kidding. Um, so ditch those, use your diffuser instead, fill it up with these amazing oils, and it does wonderful things for purifying your air, um, helping you to breathe easier, or helping me to breathe easier, you know, boost your immune system. It can do so much. Um, 
so yeah, that's definitely where we started. And then, you know, like I said, it's become a whole family affair. You know, it started with the ditching the candles. Then it became, you know, we looked into what was in our cleaning products. Oh my word. Mind blown there. Cause you know, I was a, loved me some bleach, <laughs> you know, Clorox type products on everything. Cause it had to be clean. Uh, also a little bit of a germ freak. I will admit that, uh, but that's okay. Now we use Thieves Household Cleaner for everything. It is truly my only cleaner that we have in the house. We don't use anything else. Um, we clean the toilets with it. We clean the counters with it. We clean um, stainless steel and granite and hardwood floors and my car, my pets. Yeah, you can bathe your pets with it too. Um, so literally use it for everything. But what I love is that we can wipe it. And if my kids touch the counter or if my dog walks across the floor, they are not absorbing all those toxins. It's not causing me respiratory issues when I'm cleaning my house. They can clean and I have to worry about, you know, being exposed to harmful things. So it's just been a huge game changer in how we do health and wellness in our house. Um, and then also from the standpoint of emotions, that was huge, huge, huge for me. Um, I like uh, Kirsten had lots of anxiousness and um, Valor also was my oil. I used it all the time, applied it all day long, um, and it has done wonders for me, as well as frankincense for that. And um, yeah, it's been great. I actually use these oils also too to help me through grief when my mom passed away about three years ago. So yeah, you can use them literally for everything, guys. Everything, everything, everything. And it's just a great place to start is with our starter kit. So everybody's kind of gone over the oils. So you're going to get 12 oils in your starter kit. And I want to share with you two of my other, well, a few of my other favorite things that come in your kit. I don't have a box in front of me. So if somebody has one and wants to hold it up, at the bottom of your box, you're going to take and pull up the little tab. So don't think that you're missing items. I promise you they're hiding in the bottom. Tracy has it and she's going to show us. Um, so in the bottom of that, you're going to have, that's where your stress away and your peace and calming ore. And then you're also going to have the roller filaments uh, that Ann talked about as well. But then you get two of these, you guys. So when you get them, pop them in your fridge because I prefer them better cold. Everybody's different, but they taste good cold. If you like slushies, stick it in your freezer. That's what my girls like to do. But this right here, along with our oils, along with ditch ditching all the toxic chemicals that were in our house, was huge. This definitely upped our wellness game. I can tell you in the past, we've probably been on it for about five years. In the past five years, we ran out of it once in the beginning, and we will never let that happen again. I can tell you more about that later, but I can't compliantly talk about it right now. <laughs> so get you some Ninja Red. It's made with a Ninja Wolfberry, which is awesome. The antioxidant levels in the Wolfberry are just through the roof and it's made with a puree. So you're getting like all the fiber, all the good stuff um, that is part of the fruit in your juice. So you get two packets in your starter kit and I love that they're you know giving you the option to try it out. But you can also purchase more. So this is something that we have in our wellness box every single month. It will never come off of it. Um, so pop them in your fridge. You definitely want to use them. Two of the other favorite things are Thieves hand sanitizer. So you're going to get a little bottle like this, which is awesome. It's great to throw in your purse, carry it around. My kids always had it in their backpacks or if they are out and about with their sports, just grab and go. Um, our hand sanitizer, it kills 99.9% .9 of your common germs that are out and about and around. Um, so this is definitely something to have handy. And what's so great about it for me is it doesn't tear up my hands and it smells good too. I mean, like it just, it's like a, it's, well, it's made with thieves, but it also has peppermint oil in it. So it's just the most amazing smell and it just takes all the gunk off. So it's really good. So always have this with us. You can actually get the bigger bottles. I thought I had them right here, but I don't and refill them. So that's what we do is we keep these handy with us, but then I have the big bottles at home. So when these run, run low, we refill. And the other thing you're going to get is the Thieves Spray. You guys, this stuff is amazing. So I will take it with us when we're out shopping or, you know, anywhere really. And I will spray the handles to carts. 
Um, I've sprayed it up in the air in my car before. I mean, like you can just use it for anything. I will tell you like if right now, since we're having to wear masks in certain places, I will spray my mask when I leave a place. Um, <clears throat> I'll put a drop of oil in it too. So that's another little tip for you as well. Um, and I think that covers the starter kit and everything that we have in it. If I miss something, you guys like let me know um, and speak up. But if you're already a member of Young Living, yay you and great job taking a step towards you know your health and wellness and making that positive change. It literally was the best investment that we ever made in our health. And I remember at the time thinking, oh my gosh, this is like so expensive. I'm gonna spend you know at the time it was 150 on my kit and you know whatever. It was worth every single penny. The amount of money we save in co-pays, the amount of money we save in prescriptions, the amount of money we save in like so much. It's just, we have saved so much money. So um, this kit is so worth it. And actually, if you were to price out all 12 of those oils, all the extras that you get in that kit, you're going to be spending well over $400 to get all of that together, plus your diffuser, because don't forget the big diffuser comes in there too. And that is an essential piece to using your oils. Like I feel like you have to have the diffuser. Um, but you can get that whole kit for 165, which is a steal. So if you are not using oils yet, that is definitely the way that I recommend you get started because it gives you everything that you need with oils. This is the bread and butter of your oil collection, so to speak. So you can do everything with those oils. When I use my reference book, I can look up anything in my reference book and one of those 12 oils is going to be on there. So if that doesn't tell you anything right there, they're amazing. Um, and if you're not using oils, what we want you to do is go back to the person who invited you to this class because they loved you enough and cared about you enough to share these oils with you. So go back to them and they will help you get started. Um, because yeah, it's awesome. And when you get started, something Young Living does now, which I think is amazing because this wasn't an option whenever I started, but now you can count your um, starter kit as your first essential rewards order. So Essential Rewards is Young Living's monthly wellness box. That's what I like to call it because that's really what it is. <laughs> but it's our essentials and we also get rewards for doing it. So it's amazing, but you can now count your starter kit as your first Essential Rewards order. So I recommend that you do that. Um, you have nothing to lose by doing that because it is, like I said, Essential Rewards is um, it's a privilege for those of us who are members. It's something that we get to do. But it's optional, so you can always choose to cancel it later or, you know, come in and out. You, there's, you lose nothing by um, giving it a try. But typically, once you get started, you're not going to want to stop. So count your first order as your first ER order. And then what you're going to do is going to give you the option to pick your second month's order. So you have a couple options there, and they don't charge you for that right away. You get charged for that the next month, which you can go in and change that date later. You can go and change your order. So just set it up that way, like something's there. But I always recommend the next thing you start with is your Thieves Household Cleaner. Just by doing the oils and doing that, you are knocking some major toxins out of your house. So put the Thieves Household Cleaner on there. Then I recommend putting um, the Thieves Laundry Soap on there as well, because and I put it in the comments early. I don't know if anybody read it, like was able to see that, but your clothes, what you're washing your clothes in, if it is not toxin free, guess what you're wearing against your body and your skin all day long. And it's absorbing all that stuff. So those are two of the things I always like to recommend for just ditching and switching. That's an easy way to do it. And putting a little bit on your order each month is a great way to do it. It's cost effective because guess what else Young Living does? Remember, it's called Essential Rewards. They're rewarding you for taking charge of your health. The first three months that you're on it, you're going to earn 10% back. Okay, not 10% off. Like, you know, some stores I shop at only give me 5% off when I shop. They're going to give you 10% back in points that you get to use, sorry, um, <laughs> to buy more good stuff for your house from Young Living. At month four, you jump up to 20% back. That is huge, guys. 20% back. You spend 100 PV, let's just say I'm throwing out a round number because it's nice and even and I can do quick math with that. You're going to get $20 back in points. 
pretty amazing. And then once you've been on it for 25 months, which I think some of us on here have been on it for a while, I think it's been probably five years for me. Um, I earned 25% back on whatever I spent. So those points will accumulate quickly. And then again, I turn around, like I realized today, I'm almost out of orange. So I'm going to go place an order and use my points and get more orange and not pay a penny for it. So just keep that in mind. And if you would rather do like a big switch of things on your essential rewards, I recommend you go with the Ninja Red PR kit. That's what we order every single month. It's your most cost effective way to get it. Or they have a thieves kit. So then you could get the household cleaner, you can get the hand soap, you get the thieves oil, you get the um, toothpaste, and I think the mouthwash. You get a lot of stuff. We can help you figure all that out. But um, that's just like a gist of where I recommend you go with it. And like I said, we can help walk you through it. I know it's a lot, but get your premium starter kit. Like I said, we have the essential oils one, um, which is what we've kind of talked about tonight and where we recommend you get started. Count it as your ER order. We can help you figure out what to put on your second month's order if needed. We kind of gave, gave you some options. Um, and just go back to the person who invited you to this class so they can help you get signed up. And then the best part is you get plugged into this oily community with the rest of us. So that was something amazing that um, I got out of this. And I didn't even realize um, I didn't, that I needed all these amazing people in my life. Like it's just been such a gift for me. And um, it totally just fills that, you know, <laughs> it fills that need for me, my little yellow blue personality. Um, so it's wonderful. Our community is wonderful. A lot of us on this, you know, teaching this call tonight, some of us are on the same team, but some of us are not. But we all come together as one big team YL to help serve you and each other. So, and we always learn something new every time. So it's lots of fun. We have lots of fun and we're excited that you're joining us. And thank you for joining us tonight because um, we know that you could have been doing anything else yet you chose to take time out of your schedule to be here with us and good for you for taking that time for you too. So that's all I have. If anybody thinks of anything that I forgot or missed, let us know. And if not, I'm going to turn the recording off and we'll open it up to questions. And you guys can save the chat as well. If you want oh. there's information in the chat thread, if you're on your PC, you can go to, or your computer, go to the three dots in the bottom right corner and hit save and that'll save if there was information in there that you wanted. Thank you, I forgot about that. Yeah. I meant to say it earlier, but it was all over the place. Okay, I'm gonna stop the recording.